ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهدي الله فهو المهتد ومن يضلل فلن تجد له وليا مرشدا واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن الا وانتم مسلمون يا ايها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحده وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والارham ان الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم اعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما اما بعد اخوتي في الله فاعلموا ان خير الكلام كلام الله وخير الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الامور محدثاتها وكل محدثه بدعه وكل بدعه ضلاله وكل ضلاله في النار ثم اما بعد اخوتي في الله indeed it was very distressful disturbing to see our younger brother our younger sisters reading the news that i read on her and this younger young girls these young ladies were very impressed shocked of an act that was performed by a this lady a non muslim lady and what did she do she auctioned something on this auction the auction took so much out of her community that the people were coming for coming forward until she was able to raise over 3.5 million dollars she was they were impressed very impressed how could this lady a kafira was able to raise and she was not an old lady brothers and sisters but these young girls our muslim sisters were very impressed but they forgot they forgot their role in the ummah and they forgot their responsibility and they thought maybe this is the best role model to follow maybe if we can all do what this lady did we can be someone we can be something that is important in the society but what is she auction ya ikhwati fi llah what is she do and before i tell you this brothers and sisters in islam i want to let you know that in this ummah and i'm not talking about ummah muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam fa hasb but i'm talking about ummah al iman we have women walillahi al hamd yudrab bihin al mathal اقرأوا إن شئتم قول الله تعالى. And listen to this story of this lady, إخوتي في الله. 
This lady who lived in a palace, who was treated like a goddess, who her request will never be questioned or was never questioned. Her husband was the most powerful man on earth at that time. Her husband is the man who claimed titles that was never given to a mankind ever before. Her husband was Fir'aun. The man who said, as Allah is stated in the Quran, talking about how arrogant this man was, وَمَا أُرِيكُمْ إِلَّا مَا أَرَى He told the people that you have no authority to think. You have no right to use your brain. It is I who will guide you. It is I who will tell you what to do, what to say, when to sleep, when to wake up, when to eat, when to rest, when to work. وَمَا أُرِيكُمْ إِلَّا مَا أَرَى but he was not just a normal dictator, ya ikhwati fi Allah. Anyone who disobey him, or disobey him, he would be either killed or imprisoned. قَالَ وَلَئِنَ اتَّخَدْتَ إِلَاهًا غَيْرِ لَأَجْعَلَنَّكَ مِنَ الْمَسْجُونِينَ لَأَجْعَلَنَّكَ And this is when he was in very comfortable seating, ya ikhwati fi Allah. But not only that, is the man الذي استخف قومه ونادى فرعون في قومه قال يا قوم أليس لي ملك مصر وهذه الأنهار تجري من تحتي أفلا تبصرون يعني the all my people don't you see I am the king the owner of Egypt وهذه الأنهار and these rivers flow underneath I control everything. But he was not content with that, ya ikhwati fi Allah. He went to the point when he said, Ana rabbukum al-a'la. Ana rabbukum al-a'la. But this lady, his wife, Asya bint Muzahim, yaqulu anha Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, كما في صحيح البخاري من حديث أبي موسى الأشعري قال كمل من الرجال كثير many men were perfect perfect in their manner perfect in their humanly what we can call human perfection perfect in their contentment perfect in everything that every way that you look at him قَالَ وَلَمْ يَكْمُلْ مِنَ النِّسَاءِ إِلَّا أَرْبَعَ When it comes to women, only four women were perfect. قَالَ آسِيَ إِمْرَأَةِ فِرْعَوْنَ وَمَرْيَمَ بِنْتِ عِمْرَانَ And he said, the two women that he mentioned in the Sahih al-Bukhari, آسِيَ and مَرْيَمَ بِنْتِ عِمْرَانَ آسِيَ did not do action like that lady. For her to receive that title, she did not come to the public and say, this is the auction, this is what I have, this is what I can afford, this is what I can offer to you. But she gave something more important than that. And that was Iman. She believed and gave her life for La ilaha illallah. When Fir'aun learned that his own wife accepted Islam and she became the follower of Musa wa Harun. He said, either you come back or I will kill you. I will torture you. I will make you a lesson for the rest of the people. How could a person for my own family will follow Musa alayhi salam and Harun. And look, look how he killed her, ya ikhwati fi Allah. And habada, ya ikhwati fi Allah. If our sisters in this deen, 
Our sister in this society understand that this lady radiallahu anha wa radaha, she left everything for the sake of Allah. She decided to challenge Fir'aun. Yaqulu Qatada radiallahu anhu wa rahima. Kana Fir'aun a'ta ahl al-ard. Wa akfarahum. Fa wallahi ma dharra imra'ata kufra zawjiha. Wala saddaha an ibadati rabbiha. He said,